First up, things are beginning to unravel for Prime Minister Netanyahu after six bodies of hostages were found from an underground tunnel in Gaza. The news led to spontaneous protests all over Israel, blaming Netanyahu for the failure to secure a hostage deal. While Netanyahu has now vowed action, protesters and family members are now demanding an immediate hostage and ceasefire deal. This, as Hamas says, three of the six hostages whose bodies were recovered were on a hostage release list. Almong, we love you and you'll always stay in our hearts. <laughs> Grief and anger on the streets of Israel as the IDF discovered bodies of six hostages in an underground tunnel in southern Gaza. A few hours ago, we informed the families that the bodies of their loved ones had been located by IDF troops in an underground tunnel in Rafa. According to our initial assessment, they were brutally murdered by Hamas terrorists shortly before we reached them. The dead included 23-year-old Harsh Kohlberg Polin and four others abducted at the Supernova Music Festival on October 7. Israeli forces said the bodies were retrieved from a tunnel in Rafa, barely a kilometer away from where another hostage, Kuwait Farhan Al Qadi, was rescued alive last week. In order to stop this and to save life, lives, there is one thing that must be done. For lives to be saved, Netanyahu must be immediately replaced. Protesters have vowed to bring the country to a standstill, saying Netanyahu needs to go if the hostages are to live. They single out Netanyahu's insistence on the control of the Philadelphia Corridor for the failure of the ceasefire deal. We are here in the 330 day that the hostages, 107 seven hostages are still in the hell tunnels in Gaza. And uh, I want to talk about the decision of the Prime Minister at uh, the last Friday. He decided that the Philadelphia Axis is much more important than from the life of the hostages. And I want to tell him that he's making a war crime. He's a war criminal. He's a mass murderer by his decision. While Israeli ministers reportedly backed Netanyahu's demand for the control of the crossing at Thursday's cabinet meeting, Israel's 12th channel says, Minister Yov Galan and security chiefs repeatedly urged him to compromise. Israel's finance minister, Bezalel Smudrich, has warned of another October 7 attack. If the IDF does not carry a preemptive strike against terrorism, Opposition leader Yair Lapid and the mayor of Tel Aviv have called for a nationwide strike for the release of hostages, even as the Israeli Prime Minister vowed revenge. In recent days, as Israel has been holding intensive negotiations with the mediator in a supreme effort to reach a deal, Hamas is continuing to steadfastly refuse all proposals. Even worse, at the exact same time, it murdered six of our hostages. Whoever murders hostages does not want a deal. Adding to the anger, Hamas claimed the recovered Israeli hostages were due to be released in a proposed prisoner exchange deal. Facing angry protesters at home and a rebellion in his own cabinet, the question is, will Netanyahu agree to a deal to bring the remaining hostages back. And for more on this, our correspondent Jody Cohen sent us this report. Take a look. I'm outside the funeral of Almog Sarusi. He was 27 years old and murdered by Hamas in a tunnel in Rafa. He was one of the six hostages found earlier and announced, uh, his death was announced earlier on Sunday. Now, there are many people who've come here to express their condolences. Even strangers have come to pay their last respects 
to the family. Meanwhile, the Forum for the Hostages Families is calling for a general strike tomorrow and for protests across the country, calling for a deal to release the remaining hostages. President Biden has said that he is heartbroken by the situation. The administration is doing everything that they can to try to bring about a deal to release the remaining 101 hostages. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Netanyahu has called the families of those who have been killed. Some of the families have not reportedly taken those calls. The, some of the families of the hostages blame Prime Minister Netanyahu for not saving their children and their relatives um, for not agreeing a deal with Hamas earlier. But other relatives of hostages, um, particularly the Tikva Forum for Hostage Families, they called on Prime Minister Netanyahu to end all talks with Hamas. Now, Netanyahu has said that the talks will continue, but that he believes that those who kill hostages are not really interested in a deal. For all the latest news, download the Beyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.